All right, Steve. Um, then we go to uh, Texas A&M, Miami, and of course uh, the Aggies considered one of the more talented teams in the nation. However, they're coming off a big loss at home as generally a three-score favorite against Appalachian State. Miami comes in untested at 2-0. and Yes, another way. The look-ahead line last Saturday was going to be uh, Texas A&M minus 7, and then when they lose that game, then on Sunday when a lot of the other Las Vegas books open their line, it's only 5 and a half, six. And as we talk here late week, it's now minus six on Texas A&M across the board. My power ratings make the line exactly six, so I think this line is spot on. Not a lot of line value, but you do you are concerned with the mindset of A&M because that is not a loss they were expecting. You know, I don't think Texas A&M expected to run the table this year with that tough SEC schedule, and maybe even this Miami game. You know, if you'd said they're going to lose one of those first three non-conference games, you would have all thought there was this Miami game this week. And that was not a loss they could afford to take. They probably have to run the table now, which is not going to happen. So you always worry about the mindset of a team that had maybe some national title hopes and then suffers a loss like that. And I mentioned this earlier, you know, when a team doesn't even score the point spread, it's a real red flag for me. They were an 18 and a half point favorite. Not only did they lose outright, but they only scored 14 points against Appalachian State. Now, that is a good mid-major program, but still, it was not a good offensive performance. And not only just the points, the yard. I'd like to look at the yardage, because that's more of an indicator if the teams can move the football. They had 89 rushing yards, 97 passing yards. 2-0 turnover deficit did not help, but they still had less than 200 yards of total offense. It's hard for me to see them flipping a switch here without a week off. And all of a sudden, you know, moving the ball against a Miami team that's given up just 10 total points per game their first two weeks. Now, obviously, Miami has not played anywhere near this class of competition, uh, but I am concerned about A&M's offense. And even though I think the line is spot on, you worry about the mindset. I'm not sure this is an automatic bounce back spot. Also, one of the two Texas A&M touchdowns via special teams kickoff right. return. You can't necessarily count on that. So one first quarter touchdown against Appalachian State, and that was it for A&M on offense. You can catch Steve at Wager Talk, of course. And for the NFL, in addition to college football, Major League Baseball playoffs coming and the NBA as well. Steve's Under the Radar selection coming up next on Patreon. Please join us there, patreon.com. Search Mark Rogers TV.